So today's word is betach, to ask, and it's really easy. The conjugation of it is really simple. All you have to do is remove the, the ending and then add for uh, the, the ending of cor the corresponding tense. For example, the present, betam, betash, beta, betame, like as usual. And then for the past as well, we remove the ending, we add... Uh, Wem, wam, wesh, wash, and so on. We've talked about it many times. Uh, remember to focus on the third person of the singular and the plural because it's going to be used in the future tense. All you have to do in the future tense is add bende, for example, or benjesh, which means I will be, and then add the, th uh, the verb at, uh, at its um, past form. The third person, of course. So, ben de petau, I will be asking, uh, which means, uh, yeah, I will be asking, yeah. And then uh, be careful to differentiate between the feminine and the masculine. For example, here, ben petawa, you will be asking, but you're talking to a female telling her that, okay? And here, for example, ben petawe, you will be asking but you are talking to a group of girls. Benjeche Petali, you are talking about a mix, girls and guy, uh, boys, or only guys, okay? The conditional is the same, so you use the third person, and then you add in front of it bim, bish, b, and so on. We talked about conditional in three videos. I'll put the link here. Um, and yeah, so you use the third person always, and then you add to it bim and whatever. So this means I would ask or I would be asking, depending on the context, okay? So the imperative now is as well easy. All you have to do is remove the ending and then add y, which, and it becomes petai, okay? Niech peta, let him ask or her. Or make her ask. Petaime, so the same as petai, we add petaime, we. Let's ask. The petaiche ask, order. Oni, ona, nich petaio, make them ask or let them ask. So the gerund of this word, this verb is petania. Petania means a question. Okay? So it's, kind of, so it's the name of the verb, a question. Uh, okay, so now we have the perfective aspect. This was the imperfective aspect, which was the continuous form. So continuous present, continuous past, continuous future. Now we have the perfective, which is simple future, simple past, and there's no present in it. So it's only future or past and so on. So the future is conjugated the same as is conjugated here in the imperfective aspect but here we just call it future because when you say zapetam it means that I will ask okay and you don't need to do uh, this future form okay so the conjugation of it is the exact same as petach all you have to do is add za at the beginning so the only difference is that it means it, it doesn't mean something continuous, and it doesn't have present, okay? And be careful not to use, for example, bende or benjesh when you're using the perfective aspect, because it would be totally wrong, 100% wrong. You cannot say bende zapetau, because zapetach in itself is in future form. And then we have the conditional, the same thing, and the, imper uh, the imperative the same thing as well. So the gerund here is zapetanie, which means um, the pro the process of asking, or the or uh, means exactly uh, inquiry and inquiry. So inquiry means zapetanie means inquiry. There is another word for it. You can say dochodzenia uh, as well. It could be like it depends actually on the context, and you can use it interchangeably. So. So that was it for this video. Thank you.